Just about bathing suit season here in Virginia Beach. Weather starts to warm up. Start to think about throwing on your suit. If you were putting on your swimsuit in the um, early part when the uh, Virginia Beach Resort District really started, uh, ladies, you'd probably toss on something like that. That's a replica of uh, something that would be appropriate along with the leggings and what was called the pantaloons, uh, something that you would wear in the 1890s and early 1900s. Uh, gentlemen, we might be, uh, we might be uh, putting something like this on by the time we got to the 1920s. Uh, a little bit smaller, this is actually an artifact suit from the 1920s, made out of that really comfortable wool. Who doesn't love to wear wool in the ocean? But that was the choice back in the day. You started with being completely covered up when you go back to the very early period and, and you see people um, in what was called their swimming costumes, uh, you see people completely covered up and they really don't start to uncover themselves until you get all the way to the 1920s and uh, when you get to the 20s everything really started to change you had some new fabrics coming into being uh, but that roaring 20s decade uh, people started to wear a lot less to the beach because they were wearing less it created a new phenomenon that a lot of resort, resort districts had and that was called the beach police. And the beach police were pretty concerned about how short the women's skirts were. And there were a lot of rules about how far down your skirt could be. And there were beach police, these were men uh, with tape measures. You can't make this stuff up. And they actually policed the beach and uh, you would get fined or cited. Uh, if your bathing suit was was the wrong length. Uh, a big thing happened in the 1930s. Remember the 1930s is the American Depression and something happens in the Depression that's really significant for the folks that make swimsuits and that came out of the New Deal, Roosevelt's New Deal, part of the WPA, the Works, Pro Works Projects. Uh, they start to build in the 1930s in the Depression swimming pools. A lot of neighbors, when they were putting America to work back in the day, they start building swimming pools and neighborhoods started to get pools. And that made the swimsuit industry grow by leaps and bounds. Because now it just wasn't the errant or wealthy traveler that owned a swimsuit to take to the ocean. Uh, almost everybody began thinking about buying and wearing swimsuits. Now what happens in the late 30s and early 40s is the women start to go to two pieces. And that was a huge change to see the girls in two piece, uh, in two piece swimwear. And um, it was important back then, all through the 30s and um, 40s, especially in America, uh, the woman could wear two pieces but she still wasn't allowed to show her belly button. It had to cover all of all of your midriff and uh, you see again you still have that phenomenon uh, believe it or not of beach police and a lot of the manufacturers would sell the two-piece suits they would they would advertise the two-piece suits as saving material saving material for the war effort in the 1940s and we could see that the swimsuits again this is um, something from the uh, uh, late part of the 1930s, 1940s, uh, it was all about it was all about the length. We live in a culture that we would recognize from the 1960s. Uh, we still see that beach culture. Everybody recognizes it today, kind of in the 60s when you get the the beach blanket bingo and Frankie and Annette and the surfing movies. And this is when a lot of people think the bikini came to be. Uh, the bikini actually was going strong in France in the 1940s. America outlawed the bikini and they outlawed them all through the 1950s. You were, you were a real rogue if you wore a bikini you could get in a lot of trouble in the late 1950s. That 1960s, those teenagers of the 1960s finally put an end to all of that and uh, bikini wear and smaller shorts for the men became the normal style that you'd see on the beach. So that beach culture that we know today actually is only about as old as the 1960s.